Howdy ho, Junior Rangers. Welcome to a new vlog here on KCQs. My name is Casey. Welcome to my channel. Oh God, I hope I didn't scare y'all away with that intro. Oh my God, hello. It's Easter weekend, which is one of my favorite times of year. I haven't caught up with you guys since I went to California mid-March. It's been kind of crazy since. I feel like I'm still on a whirlwind from that. After I got back from California, I got COVID. I worked four nights right in a row. I was on a seven night stretch. And upon the fourth night, I succumbed to the vid. Not fun, but I did get to get some paid time off, which I really needed because I was running myself ragged right into the ground. And then I returned to work this week. I worked two shifts, two, two 16 hour shifts, and now I'm on vacation for two weeks. So I'm pretty pumped. This is my second day. My second day off last night was my first night off, but it didn't really feel like it because I slept all day and then I woke up for a few hours and went back to bed. Brendan and I, my husband and I, are in the midst of watching The Last of Us. And is that what, yeah, The Last of Us. And we love it. I'm addicted. I'm also simultaneously, simultaneously watching Dance Moms on Disney Plus. <laughs> I'm on season two. I never, I've never actually sat down and watched Dance Mom. I think TikTok got me like on a Dance Moms like kick couple years ago so I've seen like a bunch of clips of like their dances and the drama but I never watched a show from start to finish until now when I'm watching the whole thing and I love it it's a reality tv it's like right up my alley I love like housewives and all that jazz so I'm really enjoying watching that when Brendan and I aren't watching the rest of us the last of us why did I keep saying the rest it's about 12.20. I'm heading to my parents. I just ran some errands. Like I said, it's Easter weekend, so we're going over to my mom's right now to dye eggs and make the bunny cake. My sisters are both done with work and school for the day. I ran to Costco and Wegmans, and I also went to Starbucks to get my coffee. So, oh. It was made perfectly by Molly. That's where my sister works, Starbucks. So I went and said hi to her for her like last half hour of her shift. I got a bagel and my cold brew and I'm ready to go. Had a little bit of a late start today. I think I rolled out of bed around nine o'clock and then just slowly got ready. Like I said, I've been running errands since about 11. So it's a beautiful looking spring day, but it's, it says it's 42 degrees, but it feels really like quite cold. Yesterday, I want to say on my way home from work, it was in the 70s, like in the morning. And then it, it dropped overnight, of course. But luckily, all the snow is melted. I don't see any snow on the ground. Just a bunch of garbage from the winter that needs to be cleaned up. <laughs> it's so crazy when all the snow melts away and you see like all of the garbage that's just piled up. I'm currently vlogging on my phone because I forgot my vlog camera, but I think I'm going to stop at home and grab it because I want to film us doing the bunny cake and stuff and let's get to it, my friends. Uh, happy Easter weekend. It's going to be a good day. Yay. You know what time it is. I love dying eggs. Where is my smock? I stole one from the OR where. A smock? Yeah. Oh, look at my Oh, cute. That's just like the picture. Egg of Easter. The first yellow. egg of Easter. Should I go get the smock that I stole from the OR? If you want, you're wearing black. All right, it's time to dye eggs. Magic and moonbeams. I'm gonna do like a pink. Perfect pink? Perfect pink? Blissful blue? Simply euphoric yellow. That, of course, is why I'm here in April Valley. Delivering all right. these colors to be a Let's see if I can set you up on my Stanley Cup. You say you've never been to April Valley before? Well, that's okay. I'll show Molly, you Molly, sit there so I can see you. Anyway. 
And then this one's also kind of crap. And then two of them. Yeah. They came out cute. Here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail. Do you want to tell the people what we're doing? What would you call it? Roulette? It's um, luck of the draw. Luck of the draw of the color of the pussy. With my hat. <laughs> because we, I feel like we never can decide. We, we can't. We fight over it too well, sometimes. What are we're, what are you we're doing? Picking, uh, luck of the draw for what color will the, the cake. cake be? We always make a bunny cake. Yeah. Should we have Molly pick since she's the youngest? She can pick one color. Alright, do you want to pick the other? It's up to you. You could do, do you want to rock, paper, scissors to see who's going to pick it? <laughs> sure. One of one? Yeah, one of one. All right. Ready? Rock, rock, paper, scissors, shoe. Two. Oh, I win. <laughs> <laughs> Mal! Should I pick the first color? Sure. What is she doing? I won't open it till she comes down. There's one. <laughs> I do this like, okay, sometimes we have like an RN helper or something and I'll give them like a 12 patient assignment because they're just helping. Yeah. The text can only take 10. Yeah. So that means if I can give an RN helper 12 patients that some of the nurses will have help with three patients instead of two. So I'll like do this to see who's going to get the third patient that they get help with. Yeah. It's only fair. It's pa Pam taught me to do it that way. She's like, because you can't pick. I know, that's how what I... What did I get all over the back of my hat? I don't know. Looks like Easter Sweet. dye. Look, it looks like pink, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Maybe that's... But... Is she pooping? All right, why don't you just pick it? So we'll she... give her a couple minutes. Tell her. You tell her. I already did. Mom? Oh. What is she doing? Taking a quiz. Oh. Oh. Well, she just took that before she... She just disappeared. Yeah. Like, I'll be right back. I gotta take a quiz. All right. Well, we'll wait. Color. We don't know. We don't know. All right. Open it. I haven't opened mine yet. Oh. What is it? Pink? Okay. That's a good one. Do you want to film me opening mine? <laughs> Watch it be purple. Or orange. Magenta! <laughs> Woo! Those are fun! Pink and magenta. You could be a girly girl. Do you want me to keep yeah. it fun? All That's right. a fun way to do me? it. Huh? No, Camille, we need to save everyone we can. I just ate like five. Oh, you're fine. 
I just ate like five. Put um, the bronze back on. And I'm ordering a high chair. Now I can put and my hat back on. And, uh, like a now this isn't coming yeah, off. Yeah. Help! Uh, Help! So it, it says ungreased. Wow. Oh, yeah, if you have it's any kind of, of cookies. Beach, we can see it there or over there. I never grease it though cool. when I have a yeah. cookie. <laughs> so we have a right, yeah. What if I just chair convert bathroom it? here. Yeah. That's and then we go around the corner. It's got a little kitchen. Let me do it with nice. the like, put the And then you can see there's a big old mirror along here. Okay. And it's actually beautiful because now looking from this direction, you can see the ocean out there. Good. And I'll show you the view here in just a second. But it looks like it wraps this? all the way around, but it's actually a mirror right there. So it's just a mirror. Then we do the same thing. You can see the whole table from couches. I like it. We're on the first floor here. We'll be back. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Let's pipe. Let's pipe. She is. I guess the battery is gonna die. Good job, Goyles. Winnie. Dummy. <laughs> Do I put glasses on? No. <laughs> <laughs> you want that? Oh, it's Brendan. Dummy ate my glasses. Hello. Winnie. Winnie. <laughs> oh, we just finished the bunny cake. Where are you going? I have to go to Brendan. They they closed on the Jerome's house. Oh, like up north? No, it's um on a Tisco. Oh, they closed. Like okay. they finished. Oh. That uh, oh, I guess you could do that. I'm like you're wasting it. It looks so good. Yay! <laughs> Hi everyone, it is now Saturday. My hair looks crazy. Devin's here. Yeah, that's a good combo. Or brie with apples. Oh, Devin and I went to get some wine. 
We're drinking a uh, Sauvignon Blanc right now from what is it? Star Star Burro. 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 90 calories. It's delish. I got some wine too. Picked up. <laughs> what? What's so funny? <laughs> Who did? You did. I did? Yeah, you didn't look over. <laughs> well, I got a bottle of Josh Savion Blanc. And then we saw the zero sugar. Zero sugar. Bellissima rose. Thought we'd try that out. Spring. Yeah, the packaging's like very pretty. And I'm getting ready here to make the salami pie or the pizza rosca. Rosquita? I, I like it. I think we can have it traditionally now for breakfast for Easter instead of like breakfast pizza. We do yeah. that for Christmas. I just want a spoonful of ricotta. Do you? Cheers. So we're starting with a cup of a half. Oh, those ones are so cute. A cup and a half of Molly for me. When? For Christmas, a couple years ago. We should redo our sister tag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're actually measuring. Yeah. Why wouldn't I? Hi, who we all out? And then I have <laughs> tried prosciutto, um, like a pancetta already cut up from Wegmans. It's so good. And then I have the sweet uncured soppressata salami from Italian Classics. I chop. Oh yeah. I chopped it up real small pieces. So that is all going in there. Following a recipe from Sophia. Sco Leah. Her name is not Sophia. Oh, yes, Cucina. That tastes good with that. Oh, there you Probably. go, a pairing. Mm -hmm. I don't like slot like. Just pull it in your mouth and then swig your wine. I mean, I do like it. I don't know why. I'll swig some of the wine. I'm like this. I gotta swallow that. We'll keep some of that juice. Yeah. This would go good with a cheese board then. That's what yeah. it's telling me. So, I'm going by her recipe here. Ricorza, this is home of Ricorza that I had sitting in like a strainer with a cheese cloth. I didn't do the straining. I have low moisture. Oh, the parsley. I gotta chop the parsley. I'll be back after I chop. Alright, this is my setup. It's a little messy, but I chopped up my cheese and my parsley. Mozzarella and hard provolone. Or just rig out, as we say in Syracuse. And then I have basket cheese in here. I added the pancetta in with the salami. And in here, I'm gonna add five eggs and whisk that all together with some pepper. I'm not adding salt at all to mine. Yeah. I think she added onion and garlic powder. Yeah, I'll add some seasonings. Yeah, she, oh, she started with five eggs. Two eggs. Four. Should I do six? So all together, we're gonna be using six eggs. Six eggs. All right, I'm adding some pepper. I'm gonna do a couple of uh, cracks of a little bit of a thicker consistency too. Garlic powder. I don't think you can ever have too much garlic. Some minced onion. So I have my eggs and my rigat in here and I'm just gonna mix it together with a fork. I do have whisks, but I just have a fork. My arm's already tired. Oh, it's not good. Every time you speak, the fur both and the dog's barking. Oh, <laughs> this? Yep. This is looking good. I would eat this with a spoon. But it's raw egg. <laughs> so there's a cup and a half of rigat in there with six eggs. I don't have quite as much meat as she has, but I think That's it's still going to be good. I'm going to mix that all in. I guess just get it like evenly coated somewhat like that and then the parsley this provolone is so delicious she did not have basket cheese she said to substitute 
if you can find a basket cheese for the rig out, but I'm using both. We'll see how it comes out. <clears throat> Parsley next. Parsley's in. She said that this kind of makes it like liven it up or lighten it up or something. What does she say? I don't know. I'd have to do this. She makes it vi it makes it vibrant. vibrant. Mm hmm That's looking so good. Take a whip. Oh, yes. That could be a <laughs> If there was a raw egg in it. So I'm going to add my mozzarella and my provolone. And my basket cheese and some Parmesan grated. Here's the basket cheese. I had to wring it out a little bit. It felt very moist. It tastes a lot like cheese curd. But it's a different consistency. I feel like cheesy. I'd rather have it cheesy. Yeah, it'll all melt and become like a thick reformed cheese. <laughs> Alright, and now we're gonna make the dough. Well, not make the dough. If you want to be more authentic, maybe next year I'll actually make a pie crust to... to yeah, because I've made puff pastry crust before too. And it tasted really good. So that's what we got so far. I didn't have a spring foam, spring form pan, so I just got one. So I'll turn this off for now. <laughs> All right, now I got my spring for foam. Is it form? Spring form pan. And my crescents. And uh, this is what Leah used in her video, so that's what I'm gonna use. You could use the sheets. Yeah, you could, but I literally just got exactly what she got. So I'm gonna put this on the bottom, and then put the mixture in, and then put another one on the top. All right, I did grease the spring foam form. I can't speak. And then I just laid all the crescents down and smushed them together, made them pretty even. And now I'm gonna put the mixture in. There's so much stuff on my counter. Don't judge. I wish I could eat this, but that's not happening. Be careful, you don't want to waste a drop. No, I don't. Will it all fit? Yes. That nice. Mm. Yeah, it smells so good. Like Italian heaven. <laughs> mm. Now we're gonna open our last croissant. This is gonna be so good. Can't wait till tomorrow morning. You've never eaten a piece. I don't know if I can. Mm. Not the kind of dough I want to eat. Mm. Yeah, make it look pretty. Well, this one got deformed, so. You go underneath. Mm -hmm. Hi, What's your sister doing? Bargain. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. 
You smell the meats and the cheese. <laughs> hey. Baba. Oh my god. This up is pinch. Beauty. And now we're just gonna make a little X in the middle. Get a sharp knife. Simba. <gasps> hey. Oh, you didn't pre the hoven? Hoven? Oh no, I forgot. I don't know what she mentioned that yet. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Next year it'll look prettier. Yeah. I just care about what it tastes like this year. Yeah. All right, I think we're gonna preheat the oven and bake this for like an hour. Oh my God, it's gonna smell so good. I know, that's why I'm staying around a little bit. <laughs> Not gonna rise much. My kids are gonna know that this is new stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that egg wash. I almost forgot about it. Like to put a little salt in my egg wash. Oh, that's good. Dippy, dippy. And then just get a nice coating on it. And that's going to make it nice and golden brown. This is called bacon shit happening in the kitchen, guys. If you go on the internet and you're reading a recipe, sometimes they can be very intimidating. Especially someone who's not used to cooking. Like and I gotta things. wrap it, maybe. Listen, I have the whole dough on hands. I still made it work. It's beautiful. I'm gonna pop it in the oven. I cook this 325 for probably like an hour. There she is. Oh, mm. 325 my oven is on the cooler side so i'm gonna do 350 and check on it at like 50 minutes 350 for 50 let's try it don't forget the egg wash right what is it there that's what she looks like, like hospital soap. we did 50 mm -hmm. minutes 350 golden brown it smells so good i want to eat it all right i'm going to assemble the dog's easter baskets this one's Simba's and this one's Nala's. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm putting in their basket. So it's later. I'm gonna go ahead and assemble the dog Easter baskets. And I'll show you what I got them. I got them these Molly's Barkery only at Target little cookie sets. I got them. It's a plush, fluffy toy. It's a little bunny and a little bone in a little tiny basket. I always like to cut all the tags off of everything so they can go ahead and just play with whatever I end up getting them. And Simba's right here because he's so nosy. There's the other one. I also found these little plush bunnies. I think I got almost all of this at Target because this is all the Boots and Barkley brand. I also got them this tiny little peep toy. And I each got them a package of the Purina Busy Bones. They love these. There's no rawhide. They're peanut butter flavored. They love them. Even the little ones. And lastly, I got them these Lick and Crunch Sandwich Cookies from the Dog Three Dog Bakery. I actually thought I got them more than this, but this is plenty. You know what I mean? I love making Easter baskets. Freaking cute. So there they are. Adorable. Adorable. We'll get to open them in the morning. Good morning! Happy Easter! Happy Easter! I didn't show my Easter decor in the vlog. Did I? He's got jelly beans for Tommy. Three eggs for Sister Sue. I'll show the mantle later. Are you guys wanting to open your Easter basket? Let's make some coffee first. You ready for Easter? 
There's their baskets with some Tylenol. Okay, Papa's gonna help Nala open hers. Okay. There you go, Papa. No, Simba. Simba, this one's for you, bud. There look. Nala, look. come here. Nala. Nala, look. Let's go sit with Papa over here. Oh. Oh, I already got some. Hold on, wait. Yay! Happy Easter, get your basket. Happy Easter! What's in there? Nala. Hi everyone. Huh? I look crazy. So happy Easter. Oh, I love this mug. I have so many Ray Dunn Easter mugs. I feel like this one's just perfect for Easter. It's so cute. It's a beautiful morning. Well, I'm going to head over to my parents. I don't know if Brendan's going to come for salami pie and some mimosas. Um, after I finish my coffee, I'm going to go over there. Um, it's 7.48. I'm looking a mess. I gotta wash my face. It's gonna be a beautiful Easter. I think it's only like, it's 31 degrees, but it's very sunny. It looks like it's going up to the mid, you know, low 50s today. So it should be a nice day. Come on. Easter 2023. Time for the reveal. Oh, look at that. You want to give me a knife? It looks yummy. What kind of knife do you think? A, a sharp one. Perfect. A what? A sharp one.
thinking about this for far too long. Mm -hmm. Tastes good. Are you gonna sit? Oh, well, I didn't know if you wanted to make my mocha. Mmm. Mm. Do they have garlic in it? Mm, a little bit. I don't have a taste of that. I don't know what they just do. Okay. Where'd you put it? I don't want one. <laughs> <laughs> no. Molly and I go right for our nerd grope. Because <laughs> it's the only one that you don't have to like, pick and eat in one sitting. You don't have to like, open and put away. I can eat these though. Mm. The flowers look pretty. Yeah, they do. Guys, I'm looking stellar. I'm gonna make a blueberry lemon loaf because I am now going over to Brendan's parents instead of my parents for dinner. So, I wanna bring a dessert. So I'm going to make Devin's blueberry lemon loaf. I'm gonna start with the dry ingredients. So two cups of flour, two tablespoons of baking powder, and two two cups of flour. I gotta, I gotta go slow, because I'm not a great baker. Two cups of flour, okay? And then we need two teaspoons of baking powder. Teaspoons. It's so nice out today. And then a half teaspoon of salt. Half teaspoon. Cool. That's the dry ingredients and I'm just gonna whisk those together. I don't know what happened to my My really good whisk. And then for the wet ingredients, a half cup of oil. Vegetable oil? <clears throat> Vegetable oil. Oil grosses me out. And then we need one cup of sugar and one cup of sour cream. I don't have sour cream, but I have plain Greek yogurt, so I'm gonna use that. Sugar. I guess I'm gonna use brown sugar. Ooh, I'm warm. Where are my scissors? Oh, I'm wearing here. This is so boring. I'm trying to make this rather quickly. Oh god, I like wasted a lot of that. I'm using brown, light brown sugar. Mess. Simba making a batch. Brown sugar reminds me of like a, like a sugar scrub. I guess. Oh shoot! I put I put those in the wrong thing. I don't know why the sugar is in this part anyway. I put the oil in the right spot, but the sugar in the wrong spot. So I'll try to scoop it out. But so I don't. Typically, you would put your sugar in with the dry ingredients. Am I right or am I wrong? It's all gonna get mixed together anyway. But sugar was supposed to be in with the wet ingredients. Put this over here so I don't make that mistake again. Because I think next I need yogurt, right? One cup of sour cream and two eggs. Are we doing melted butter? Is there any butter in this? I feel like it needs butter. Two eggs and then a cup, a cup of sour cream. But like I said, I'm using Greek yogurt. I just don't have any sour cream on hand at the moment. I pretty much always have plain Greek yogurt because I use it as a sour cream substitute when I'm trying to be a little more health conscious. It's just a very versatile ingredient to have. It achieves the same purpose as sour cream would and it actually, it tastes like sour cream too. All right, lemon zest, it doesn't say how much, and then two teaspoons of vanilla. I'm trying to like kind of clean as I go. Lemon, lemon zest and I need vanilla extract. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. how much lemon zest to do, but I don't know. Like, lemon zest. Kind of like did one lemon. And she's mixing this together with spatula. I'm gonna grab a spatula. <laughs> There's like some chunks of sugar that I just wanted to get broken up. All right, now you're gonna add the dry ingredients to the wet. I'm like not showing you what I'm doing, I'm just telling you what I'm doing. 
And then I think I need, I need some blueberries and you have to flower the blueberries so they don't sink to the bottom of the mixture. Oh, it smells so good. Let me get the blueberries right there. So it's one cup of blueberries and two teaspoons of flour. Will you help me find the blueberries? <laughs> I'm gonna eyeball it. Somebody you wanna get that? That blueberry that fell? Did you get it? Is that good? One cup of blues and two teaspoons of flour, right? Yep. I might put some more on the top. So you just wanna coat the blueberries in the flour and that will prevent them from sinking to the bottom of the loaf. Just like that. Fold them into the batter. It looks so pretty. Miller. Wow, it's so easy. Then we're gonna pop it in the oven for 50 to 60 minutes on 350. I wanna try it. Yep, yep. That's so good. Probably could have even done more lemon. All right, I'm gonna clean up my mess and um, make the icing and I'll bring it back. 20 minutes, that's gonna be annoying to edit. After reviewing that, I realized I forgot to put lemon juice in there. <laughs> so I'm gonna quickly add some lemon juice. Why am I like this? I got issues, man. That's why I was thinking, mm, I could use more lemon. Cause I didn't actually put the lemon juice in there. All right, let's do the lemon juice. What an idiot I am. This is like a very giant lemon. I bet you, two, is it mm, teaspoons of lemon juice? I bet you this is more than two teaspoons from this one lemon. I'm gonna put it. I have something. I have my Ray Dunn juicer. Two teaspoons. Yeah, hers looked more watery than mine. Mine was like pretty thick and now that's a better consistency. All right, new piece of parchment paper is going back in the oven. Yikes. Here is my lemon loaf. It is uh, for the glaze. One cup of powdered sugar, two tablespoons of lemon juice, but I also did a couple teaspoons of vanilla extract. I'm just pouring it over. She's pretty. She's pretty. It's so nice outside. 51 degrees.
Got milk. Oh, he doesn't like being a. I mean, it's a tradition. It's me. Am I on you? No, so you're fine. I just didn't want to be dummy and get made it up. An Easter tradition. I'll never forget when I found this out. <laughs> and have you never? I have made stars, planets, and their courses to go. <laughs> Such a pretty night. He sits. My favorite part's coming. <laughs> then they both, they all sway. Right here, right, it's coming. Then the, 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 Wait, here it is. The head. Dun, dun, dun. I really want to thank you, no. Lord. <laughs> it's the best part. Big 